Siegel visited one store where the almighty greenback has continental company. Beside this stack of $20 bills, a foreigner lives. Yes, it is the Euro right here on 1st Avenue and 9th Street at East Village Wines. They accept Euros here. It's an attempt to attract international customers who have been moving into the neighborhood. Can I pay in the Euro? And then, then we thought about it here. That's a great idea. A sign of the times, say strategists who have been following the dollar's decline. It's very emblematic of the fact that the dollar has been so weak for so long. And it's losing its status as the dominant currency in the world. So every day they look up the conversion rate and then post it right here in front of the register. The question other retailers will want answers to, has it been worth their while? Not really. We're not making so much money because when you turn the euros back to the uh, bank, they're charging commission. The reason why they, they don't really profit is because in the currency market, you really trade in million dollar units. Clearly not in units of $17.99. And in fact, today's rate posted on the board here is off. The euro actually traded at a dollar forty-four, but Ahmed says it doesn't matter. The point is to provide a convenient service to European customers. They actually started in 2001, long before the euro surged ahead. But experts say now other retailers are likely paying attention. They need to be really smart about bringing in shoppers who will put lots of things in the shopping bag. And the Europeans, with the exchange rate, have a lot more cash. We couldn't find any other stores taking the foreign bill, but experts say this is how it all begins. In the East Village, Ida Siegel, News Channel 4.